What's up guys, I'm the FG Vlogs, back in here another vlog for you guys, today vlog is easy versus Solio Moors and the last time we played Solio, it was the first game of the season and that's the game easy realistically should have won with 1-0 up, cruising and then Solio went down to 10 men and then since they went down to 10 men, they piled on the pressure and managed to score right at the death of the game to make it 1-1 since then, Solihull has been up in the table in the top five, and recently, for a sort of mid table, been struggling. And like Kevin Davis, we won two games and lost one. The loss just came against Oldham in midweek. No Antigone for this game. I'd be interested to see what lineup EC does play, because we should have made a few changes in that game, but he didn't, so we'll and see if he does for this game. Eastley sitting 11th, currently with 45 points. Nine points of the playoffs. So today, we have to at least get a result, a win or a draw, because at the moment, Dorking are beating Chesterfield 4 1. And that's an incredible result for Dorking. Obviously, they're obviously in the relegation, obviously, bottom half of the table. You could say easy as well, but obviously, beating Chesterfield 4 1, that's a massive win for them. And potentially, you can keep them up as well. I think, I reckon we'll nick it 2 1. Obviously, Solo are fourth in the league, so obviously they need to win as well. So, so they come in the playoffs, and if they lose and other teams run and win, they could fall down in the playoff table. So, so interested to see in this game. Hopefully, the game's not a boring game. Hopefully, there'll be goals in there. Just gonna wait and see. This afternoon, Solio Wars in goal number 32, Nick Hayes, two, James Clark, three, Joe Newton, four, Jamie Osborne, seven, Joe Sabara. Number 8, Callum Maycock. 9, Mark Beck. 10, Tyree Shade. 14, Jack Stevens. 19, Richard Stearman. And number 35, Alex Whitmore. Substitutes.
gun. Coming off number nine, Mark Beck. Being replaced by number 29, Tavern Campbell. But, like, Chelsea had a pre built thing, didn't yeah. they? Uh, that's the Calum, that one. Well. I appreciate you all the way. Should have gone all the way. Over. But when you're 
Is that McDonald getting beat at the near post again? Yeah. Goal scorer for Solihull Moors, number 29, Talon Campbell. Just come on. He's like, he's on that again against us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's on that again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's on that again. Man of the match, sponsored by Gascare. Number nine, Paul McCallum. There you guys, end of the vlog. What a game. A 3 3 draw. Could have been 4 4. It could have been 4 3 2. Solid or Moors. But a hat trick from Paul McCallum. Incredible. What a player. He makes it 29 goals of the season. Incredible player. Especially on his best form in his probably career, you could say. In the other hand, Solihull did an amazing comeback and they thought they snatched the victory right at the end. But it was called offside and of course the player got booked. But obviously I wasn't too sure if it was offside or not. But obviously I was grateful that I was offside. I managed to get a point, but again, Solihull has done it again, coming from behind and getting the equaliser. And obviously, it's just disappointing that we didn't get the three points, but a point also gets Oliver Moores, who are in the playoffs. I take that. And Joe McDonald made some incredible saves as well. It could have been more goals on Oliver Moores, but he made like two or three great, fantastic saves. One in the first half from that free kick, and the second half, it made a outstanding save. I despise it. It didn't go in, but incredible, incredible keeper. Probably one of the best keepers in the league outside of obviously the playoffs. Normally, when EC do not make the playoffs, the last two years he's gone to play in the playoffs for a team who which are in the playoffs. Next week, we don't have a game, we're going to be playing Wellstone next Saturday, but obviously, they progress in the FA Trophy. And our next game will be the following Tuesday, just the 12th of March, Tuesday night at Barnet's Ground. And it's going to be another tough game to go to Barnet and try and get the three points. I'm supposed to on the Tuesday night. It's going to be tough, but hopefully East can do it. At the moment, I'm planning on going to the game, but anything could happen. So at the moment, I should be going to the game. So it should be another vlog coming. The following game after Barnet is watched out at home. So I should be going to that game. Enjoy this vlog. Give it a like. Subscribe if you're new. I hope you'll see you in two weeks.